Good morning. It is Thursday morning, the 2nd of July. I hope that you're doing well. My reading this morning in uh, Spurgeon's uh, devotional, um, it's just called Morning and Evening. This is the reading for July 2nd uh, from Psalm 33, 21. Our heart shall rejoice in him. And this is the first part of his, uh, his reflection. Blessed is the fact that Christians can rejoice even in the deepest distress. Although trouble may surround them, they still sing. And like many birds, they sing best in their cages. The waves may roll over them, but their souls soon rise to the surface and see the light of God's countenance. They have a buoyancy about them, which keeps their head always above the water and helps them to sing amid the tempest. God is with me still. To whom shall the glory be given? Oh, to Jesus. It is all by Jesus. He wrote this more than a hundred years ago, but I thought some of these lines uh, fit so beautifully uh, the situation that we're in right now. Uh, the waves may roll over them, but their souls soon rise to the surface and see the light of God's countenance. I hope and pray for us that um, that would be our life as Christians today, that we would know what it means to rejoice in the Lord, to be faithful, um, however long the uh, current situation lasts. This coming Sunday, the... Uh, 5th of July, we'll have our worship uh, using the conference call um, approach again. Uh, the difference this week will be that we're going to celebrate communion. So I encourage you to um, take part, um, gather uh, bread or crackers, um, grape juice, wine, um, just have it on hand, and then at the appropriate time in the service, we'll, go to, we'll, we'll do that together, uh, even though we're remote. Uh, there is a guideline sheet that we're sending out by mail. I hope it'll get there in time uh, to give us a little bit of direction on um, why we do it this way and, and how it will work. Hope that uh, we can hear from each other and join together in a time of worship on Sunday. Uh, God's blessings on you today.